good day and welcome back to another tutorial in this tutorial we'll be showing you how to create um, side curbs that will be going alongside your driveway on your project and this is the sub region that we have inserted on our last tutorial and the first thing that we want to do is to go to site plan and just draw out an outline of um, your driveway and you can use a detail line to do that so you can draw your outline like that And once you have your outline like that, you're just going to select it and we want to be able to see it in 3D so we can trace over it. You click convert lines and you'll be able to see them. So the first thing we want to do is to go to massing and side, split surface and we're going to select this and trace over our line that we have drawn and it will split the the, 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 the top of surface into two. We are then going to select our sub region and we are just going to remove it from here. And now, once you have this, you, um, your driveway into your side, we're going to split um, this one as well. Actually, we're going to split this one and we are going to offset this by 90 going to the outside like that when you go to 3D there it is and we're going to make another one uh, split surface this side on the other side I'm going to pick offset by 90 and we'll have it there so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to move them up by 150 millimeters like that. So this will be the top of our of our curve and we just need to close it on these two sides. We're going to split surface of this and we are going to offset this by 5 to this side just going to make a close loop this side if you don't make a close loop it will not allow you to finish so you always have to make sure that you separate the top of surface into two and you go to 3D that's it there I'm going to split surface again on the end that side so since we made it 90 I'm going to make it 85 so it can do that and I'm going to close the loop like that now it has separated this into two now they stay there I'm going to do the same um, with this one
and I'm going to do the same with this one as on the other side there you have it once I have this I'll need to make another one two one here and one this side I'm going to offset by let me make it six go in there make another one here uh, this will be starting to give me issues it needs to be a closed loop I'm just gonna try to do this and see if it's gonna work okay yeah that works um, so once we have this two we need to do the other two on the other side And I'm going to say six on this side. Go to 3D. Where has it done it? I'm going to click that. I can't see where I have done it. I'm going to do it again. millimeters I'm quite getting confused if they can get very confusing these things go to 3d there we have it I'm gonna make one last one here After you have this, now we want to close and in order for us to close that, we are going to merge and once you start merging you realize that we are starting to create that nice shape for us. We are going to merge these two, merge these two. merge this tool so there we have it now we have our curves on site we need to start giving them a material I'll start giving the site a material which is a road surface and the curb I'll give them a different material and I will call it and I'll just make that a different color like that so you have it actually let me change the color of this material because it looks like it's open so 
I'm just gonna make it a bit darker. Let's see, that's okay. So there we have our curb, guys, and thank you very much for tuning in. I sure do hope that this trick will help you in your development of your project.